or donate, not donate, uh, what's the word? Dedicate. dedicate, that's it, dedicate this one. Okay, now, when we're looking at these, all right, Jamie, they're saying the cotangent. Do you remember what the cotangent, x over y, y over x, one over x, two over one, y, what, what is cotangent? x over y, very good. Okay, so cotangent represents the x over y when we have a point on the unit circle, right? Now remember, they said these points have to be between 0 and pi halves. Right? So we're not concerned about the rest of the unit circle. We're only concerned about the x and y points in the first quadrant. Now, when going back, there was three points that we talked about inside between um, 0 and pi halves. We have our first point, which is um, square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Then we have square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. And then we have 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. Right? So this point, I'll do it in radians, which is uh, pi over 6. This point, which is pi over 4. And the last point, which is pi over 3. All right? So there's three points. Each one of those points has an x and a y coordinate. Which one of those, however, though, is going to produce a square root of 3 over 3? All right? So what we're going to do is let's just try to let's find the cotangent of pi over 6. Let's do the cotangent of pi over 4. And let's do the cotangent of pi over 3 and see which one works. So the cotangent of pi over 6 would be square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. The cotangent of pi over 4, that equals square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. And the cotangent of pi thirds equals 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2. Right? Now hopefully maybe you guys can kind of see some of this. Um, remember now we need to get the fraction off the bottom so we multiply by the reciprocal. Right? And you guys, you're going to, once you do enough of these, you'll get practice. You're going to be able to do a lot of this in your head. But let's just multiply by the reciprocal. And then you'll know that equals the square root of 3. So is the cotangent of pi over 6? So is pi over 6 our answer? No, we, that gives you square root of 3. We need square root of 3 over 3. This just gives you 1. So therefore, we know this has to work. But let's go and double check. If I multiply by the reciprocal, so there you go. So your answer is going to be theta is going to equal pi thirds or 60 degrees. All right, so when you're dealing with cotangent and tangent, some of these are going to be a little tricky. You're going to have to understand, remember what they represent. Cotangent represents x over y when you have a point on the unit circle. Tangent represents y over x when you have a point on the unit circle. So you're going to have to take these kind of points and mess with them with that. All right, it's nice when you have a tangent or a cotangent, though, that's 1 or negative 1, because then you know it has to be pi over 4. But when it's not that, it's either going to be pi over 6 or pi thirds when we're talking about the first quadrant. Yes? Well, these 